Crazy D's YouTube could be a star web showcase. Right here, right now, we're here with Steve Turner, the mayor of Cleveland. That's right, what's happening, Cleveland? Thanks for tuning in. You've done an outstanding job, if you will. Now, we're going to have him tell a little bit about what he's into and what he does. So go ahead, Steve, tell him what you do. Well, first thing, uh, you know, I do comedy. And I started doing comedy right here in 1991. You know, that's uh it all started. Regardless of that butt whooping that my father and them gave me, but it all started here in Cleveland, man. Always you started when you were 12. When I was 12, man. Did the first show at Akron at the Civic Theater down there. It was a, no, the Marriott Grand Ballroom. Mm -hmm. First show. And I went down there. I thought I was a comedian in classroom, man. My mother had to make me get on the stage. It was crazy, man. I was up there and I was... I never forget that first joke. My mother, she made me go over all these jokes because she don't like cussing. And she, what you gonna say? And I had a whole bunch of stuff to say. But what happened was on the way down there, my father was in my ear, my little cousin was in my ear. So I didn't curse, but the jokes were not what she was expecting. She was hot as cowboy piss, man. She, one joke was uh, like I asked the people, do you watch Young and the Restless? You ever watch Young and the Restless? Yeah. And see, I, after all that crap has come between them. Them two still together. People say, who? I said, my butt cheeks. But my mother <laughs> almost had a heart attack, man. She was pissed off. I said, you know what? And that probably was improper for a child to say that. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was funny. It would have been worth a couple swats on the butt, man. Because yeah, but it was crazy, too, man. Because everybody in there was... Right, right. They, 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 they laughed though, right? <laughs> yeah, they, they laughed, laugh, but they was shocked, man. And oh, so so what your mother was doing was trying to teach you a lesson? Cause were you like the class clown? I was like the class clown. You want to do comedy so bad, man? We're going to go down to this comedy show. You want to do it? Yeah, but when I got there, I see all them people. I didn't want to do that, but I, she drove me too far. I went down to Akron, man. So I didn't know how far Akron was at that time. Went down there, and we got on stage and started doing that. But then, and that just disturbs me. To think that as celebrities we have no protection against these absurd allegations. I mean, yeah, Michael Jackson and R. Kelly, Anthony Anderson, Kobe Bryant. It's just, the list goes on, but that's just bullshit, man. Ladies, I don't think ladies really have a clue as to what rape is. Let me tell you something, ladies. I don't see where she got that count from. If you call me 50 times, and therefore I come over to your house, get drunk, kick in the door, drag you up the stairs, hit you over your head, duct tape your mouth, then tie your arms and legs to the bed, turn you over, sodomize you, Okay, I can see what she was going with that, Rick Chase. I can see what she was going with that. I, 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 in my mind, I remember that these people don't know who I am, so I'm going to get up here. And it was a competition at that time, and I would have won mm -hmm. because the other jokes was good. I don't remember the other jokes, but what happened was I made a handicap joke, and one of the judges were handicapped. Okay. And that ended it for you. I Pretty see. Much. That dude, I never, he had the open mouth. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know he's thinking to get your straight walking ass off this stage. So I usually deal in like music. So the comedy setup as far as performances in the club, that's something that's really new to me now. How does uh it work like if you're if you're a comic starting out, did like your mother called and then <clears throat> they came down? Or how how does that work? Okay. For comics versus let's say hip hop acts who get up and perform in front of people at first. But uh, pretty much nothing at first, where they're selling their CD, where they're selling their DVD. How does that work for a new comic? Which what a new comic should do. Because back when I first started doing comedy, it was no place to do comedy. It's easy now, man. I started in 91. It was no, it was an improv and hilarious. That's the only two places you can do comedy. Nobody's, now they got rooms. You can go to a comedy room and get an open mic. Man. I'm like, fuck it. Hey, you're going to have to take them pants off. You know? <laughs> I'm going to like, she said, just, you know what? It's something you don't know about me. It's, right now, I'm scared the muffin right there. It, it, you don't know everything about me. I said, well, well what you, what is it? You know, I'm trying to play it out. What, what you got to tell me? Let me just get the rest of my clothes because I know you're going to try and kick me out after this. It's, you don't know everything about me. And right then, I was scared. The first thing I was thinking, I'm like, oh, Lord, please, Jesus, please do not let this be a man. I will kick the shit out of this guy and take his purse. <laughs> You can get them. You start off there, probably give you five minutes on stage. You do your five minutes, you just hit them. And what you gotta realize is this if they don't laugh, I mean, who cares? They don't know you, but my pride never would let me go out there and suck. But at the same time, 
the more money they pay me, the funnier the jokes is. So you're not gonna get the same jokes I did on Def Jam that you're gonna get for free. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm so how does it how does it graduate? You go in as a five minute act. You go in as a five minute with, your, with five minutes, and five minutes seems short, but that's a long time, man. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're just starting off, that's a long time to make somebody laugh. Just make them laugh for five minutes. Okay. Especially out here, like the hardest place to do comedy is is in Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago. Those are the hardest places to do comedy. That's Ask any comedian who know who traveled, they will all say the same. Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, some parts of New York. Those are the hardest places. Like LA, you don't even have to be funny, man. Really, you just have to look nice or something. But it's like everybody's nicer, man. Like even everybody's if you go down nicer. to Florida, people are more nice. But up here, man, everybody look like you better make me laugh. And, I, and it's funny here, man. And this is a true story. I've seen people fight. For people not being funny. I've seen fights in club for comedians not being funny. Hmm. Yes. Crazy no. you two could be a star web oh. showcase. So you, you say you go from five minutes, then you, you five. move up you move up to what? What's the next step? Well okay, what I did was <clears throat> I would do five minutes. I would go on stage. What I used to like doing is I would never like using the same jokes over. So I do my five minutes and if it was good, I would you know, write it down somewhere mm -hmm. and store it. And I'd go with another five minutes and I'd write down the story and then if they want to graduate you up a little bit, you can probably combine them two together. Okay. They're going to start after you get on and you start getting a couple laughs, they won't want you to do it a little longer. Okay. So when you graduate, graduate, 15 minutes. If you do 15 minutes making people laugh, you are out of sight. Because okay. that's what they're going to start bringing you in as a feature. And a feature will, uh, or opening comedian, you open up and you do about 15 to 20 minutes, you're a feature. Okay. So you, you're you featuring, and usually 30 minutes, you're headlining. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to get 30 So minutes. now when you get to the feature standpoint, 15 to 20 minutes, is that a pay gig? Or is that usually, still... Usually, it just depends on what you work out. And it also depends on your resume. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mean, you... Because some guys now come in, man, and it's a funny thing. Some guys come in now, man, they... Never did comedy before, or they just started doing it a month ago, and they say, "Man, I need how much is paying?" Now, one thing I don't like about Vegas, though, man, is y'all got racist police. Anybody know that beside me? Yes. You know, like a lot of regular police make up to you to whoop your ass over, man. It's crazy. Please, man, police whoop your ass like for jaywalking and say you was drunk driving. <laughs> <laughs> he whoop you up and down the street. He said, "Nigga, when you get across the street, just blow him. Wait for me. We'll be right back." <laughs> Get across the street, I say, hold on, what's the problem, sir? He said, do you know you were drunk driving? I say, man, I ain't even got no car. He said, calm down, nigga. <laughs> you don't have a license either. <laughs> got to get my credit back, man. My credit was so bad, I was walking down the street, a dude robbed me and stole my wallet and fucked his credit up. He, <laughs> <laughs> he sued me. I'm like, it's some bullshit. You know, I don't support my people, but I don't like that point, man. Because, it's all, anybody seen one? It's some bullshit, man. The rap music come on at the wrong time. I mean, <laughs> cameraman keeps sitting the camera down. The director paid to keep going off. The girl keep getting up, going to check on her kids. I'm like, this is some bullshit. I hate this. <laughs> so as soon as I give me some money, I'm gonna invest back into the community, man. Soon I'm gonna, I'm gonna give me like a, a black strip club or something. You know, because white strip clubs make you feel guilty if you go in with less than fifty dollars. And, and you. Yeah, you know, I felt so embarrassed, man. I went in, man. The ladies don't even like to give you a proper lap dance. She's like, bitch, my lap is back here. Said, no, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to a black strip club where I can go on for like two or three dollars and feel at home, you know. I want to be able to put a dollar in a girl's vagina. She clap her booty two times and two quarters change come out. That's all. <laughs> so, what, so what is a life of a comic? Let's say like... Okay, so you said that they really, you, you started in 91, so and in it 91. took almost a decade before you started to see revenue yes. come off of it. Okay, so what's a life of a comic like? Like you graduated from high school, and you went, you said you went out to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Then you came back to Cleveland for a minute, and then you went out to L.A. So what's the life like for a comic? How does a comic survive out in L.A.? Or, or during comedy, period. See, anywhere. it's easier, really. It would be easier to do comedy out here and survive than it would be to try to do because comedy comedy shows don't pay in LA. They have billions of comedians. Oh, downstairs, downstairs. Oh, I'm trying to play it off because all my friends knew she was a crackhead. I didn't know. I did not know. She up the shit downstairs. I'm trying to play it off. I say, up. Oh, Honey, what you doing? She said, I'm chasing a dragon. I said, well, catch it and sit down, bitch. You keep... 